Hello friends, I'm Dr. T wishing you a happy new year. Today we are continuing a deep dive into chocolate. We are asking these questions. What are the healthiest forms of chocolate? What are the components in the chocolate that make them healthy? What are the health benefits of chocolate? What are the pitfalls and how much can you eat? Let's start with our, uh, what are the healthiest forms of chocolate. The healthiest forms of chocolate are dark chocolate with minimum 70% cocoa. Higher the percentage, the healthier they are, but bitter they are as well. So as with any food, closer you are to the source, less processed, the better. What are the components in chocolate that make them healthy? Well, let's look at one ounce of dark chocolate. It contains 12 grams of fat, about 7 grams saturated fat, 3 grams of mono unsaturated fat, 0.3 polyunsaturated fat. They contain about 13 grams of carbs, less if they are unsweetened, usually 3 grams, and 3 grams of fiber, and usually one ounce of chocolate will be 170 calories. But in addition, chocolate contains many minerals, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, iron, manganese, and others, and many vitamins A, B, E, and K, and uh, uh, insignificant uh, amount of cholesterol. But they do contain plant sterols, phytosterols, who actually in your gut decrease the absorption of uh, uh, cholesterol in the food. Uh, they also contain stimulants, theobromine 227 milligrams and caffeine 23 milligrams. Uh, but let's keep in mind that chocolate has up to 800 chemical compounds and it's uh, uh, impossible at this point for us to know exactly which ones are the healthiest. We think are the flavonoids. The flavonoids are a large family of uh, uh, plant uh, compounds and they are uh, present in other fruits and vegetables and uh, uh, beverages and wine and tea. Uh, and chocolates contain uh, also flavonoids uh, like catechin and epicatechin and these phytonutrients we believe are responsible for the health benefits of, of chocolate. What are the health benefits of chocolate? Uh, here are 10 benefits of raw minimally processed uh, chocolate, chocolate paste or uh, chocolate nibs. Number one, antioxidant. Uh, and they inhibit the LDL oxidation, the bad cholesterol oxidation that plays a major role build up of plaque in our arteries, causing heart attacks and strokes and peripheral vascular disease. Number two, they increase production of nitric oxide, relaxing the blood vessels and really improving blood flow. They, we can look at them as really a natural Viagra. Number three, they cause vasodilatation of the smooth uh, muscle in the arteries so they lower your blood pressure. Number four, they have an antiplatelet uh, uh, effect. They, number five, they are anti-inflammatory. Number six, they increase the insulin sensitivities so they will uh, decrease diabetes. Number eight, they will improve cognition. They may be good for your brain. Number nine, they decrease heart attacks. And number ten, they decrease the strokes. Have to be aware that some of these claims have less data than others. And there is actually a study going on called the COSMOS trial, the cocoa supplement, the multivitamin outcomes at Harvard Medical School. And the end point is looking at the heart, at the brain, and if there is an anti cancer effects and they are recruiting men 60 and over, women 65 and over with no heart disease and no cancer and they are uh, separating them in four groups. One group gets a multivitamin, one group uh, gets a cocoa powder, one group gets both and the other group gets a placebo. Obviously we won't have these results for several years but nonetheless it's going to give us a lot of information on what are the components in chocolate that are good for your, for your health. What are the pitfalls? There are some drawbacks of uh, too much chocolate. If you eat too much chocolate, you're eating too much sugar, uh, too much fat, including saturated fats, and too many calories. So, How much can you eat? I would say will be uh, reasonable uh, one ounce uh, a day, so 28.3 uh, 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 grams. In summary, all the health beds of chocolate come from the uh, cocoa. Uh, higher the percentage of cocoa, healthier uh, it is. 
uh, you have to be aware of the low cocoa products and the white chocolate and milk chocolate and the candy coated uh, chocolate. These are really treated as uh, uh, refined, uh, with refined carbs and they are not good for you. They are, uh, no, don't expect any health benefits from those. So what do I do? I eat uh, one ounce of uh, dark chocolate frequently and I pick 70% or higher coca, usually in uh, nut uh, clusters. Uh, uh, a friend of mine likes to say that life is uh, too short to be drinking, but one I would say life is too short to be eating unhealthy chocolate. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others, let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, write a comment, ask a question. I'm Dr. T wishing you a happy new year. See you next video.